The United Nations Security Council is expected to reconvene today to vote on whether to call for a halt to the fighting in Gaza. Now, the vote was delayed by a day amid ongoing negotiations to avoid another U.S. veto. An initial draft text of the new resolution called for, quote, an urgent and lasting cessation of hostilities to allow unimpeded access of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. Uh, diplomatic sources say that this language has since been watered down and it could be further weakened to satisfy Washington. Israel has been facing growing international pressure to change its tactics in its war against Hamas due to the mounting civilian casualties. More than 19,000 Palestinians have reportedly been killed in the besieged enclave since the war escalated two months ago. Israeli strikes continued to pound the north and south of Gaza overnight. At least 28 people were reportedly killed in attacks in the southern city of Rafah. Tens of thousands of other displaced Palestinians, meantime, have crammed into the city that borders Egypt to flee bombardment across the Strip. The World Health Organization has again raised its concern about the state of Gaza's medical facilities, which are struggling to secure even basic supplies. The UN agency described the situation as, quote, beyond belief and unconscionable. While a spokesperson for UNICEF expressed his outrage that children recovering from amputations in hospitals have later been killed in those very same hospitals. For more, Trent Murray joins us. He's live for us from Tel Aviv. Trent, the United States has again pushed Israel to ensure the protection of civilians in Gaza. Do we know if any steps are actually being taken on that front, though? Yeah, well, this comes uh, just 24 hours after U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin was here in which he held discussions with the senior members of the Israeli war cabinet, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He said that during those discussions, he offered America's unwavering support for Israel's security. But he did say he discussed with military leaders a desire on the Americans' part to get some idea of when this will move from a high-intensity operation, as he described it, to one that is more surgical, targeting high-value individuals and the leadership of Hamas, because that is coming, as we know, that civilians do continue to get caught in the crossfire of these firefights and skirmishes between Hamas fighters on the ground and members of the IDF. The IDF, for what it's worth, uh, says that overnight it did launch raids on a medical facility that was being used by Hamas fighters as a command and control centre. They said they found weapons there, fighters, even an unexploded improvised uh, explosive device being stored in a trash can. So look, the situation shows no immediate sign of letting up. There has been more airstrikes overnight uh, by the IDF, but it does come against a backdrop of the US saying that Israel uh, does have a, a moral duty and a strategic imperative to make sure it tries to protect civilians as it goes after those Hamas terrorists that committed the atrocities on October 7th. Trent, we are expecting the UN Security Council to vote on another resolution calling for a halt in the fighting in Gaza. Are we expecting any changes to this latest draft text? Well, look, it all interestingly comes down to one word, uh, 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 reportedly, and that is the word cessation of hostilities versus suspension of hostilities. Now, this is a resolution which has been drafted by the UAE uh, as well as backed by other Arab countries. But we understand they have been negotiating throughout the night, quite literally, with the US to try and get them on board because the US, uh, as we are aware, is a permanent member of the UN 
Security Council and it can sink uh, a resolution with its veto power. It's already done that once at a UN Security Council vote on this very issue. The UAE and those other countries that are backing this resolution are eager to not see that happen again. We understand they are encouraged by the fact that the Americans are at least open to discussing this resolution, which does also call uh, for more aid to be lent into Gaza and for UN monitors to be placed in Gaza to ensure that that aid is delivered. But we will just have to wait and see whether they can convince the White House to come on board with this resolution. As I say, it would appear it all comes down to, a, uh, to an interpretation of the word cease versus suspend. Trent, thank you very much for that. Trent Murray there in Tel Aviv.